let's jump straight into programming the Pi Pico with the Thony IDE. Okay, so starting with the home screen, the first thing you want to check on is what Thony IDE you're using. Uh, so let's check with this. So if you open it up, we should have at the bottom here the MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. If you haven't got this in, firstly check you've actually plugged the Pico in. If you've done that and it's still showing, if it says something like MicroPython brackets generic, then you might need to update your Thony. So to do this, we'll open terminal and we want to type in sudo apt get install python3 thony and press enter it will ask you if you need to uh, press y or n press y and enter to install the latest version i've already got it installed so it hasn't popped up then in the bottom you would want to click micropython raspberry pi pico Starting with this, on the three dots, let's just make this a bit bigger. We're going to do the very first thing you ever do, which is print hello world or something similar. So let's do print hello from Pico and it should show it back. There we go. So that's the actual Pi Pico replying. The next step we want to do is doing it in an actual file which the Pico runs. So this is currently live, uh, similar to the mini com you saw before in my last video. So let's do it as an actual file. So we do print hello from Pico. And we want to save this. And then you get the option to choose this computer or Raspberry Pi Pico, which is Pico. And then you want to choose a file name. So these are all the ones I've already got on it. Uh, you want to avoid using run.py and avoid using main.py until I go over that section later on. So we're going to do hello.py. Uh, don't forget to make sure you put the py at the end uh, for the extension. You need this. You press OK. And if it hasn't already run, which it sometimes doesn't, you can click run at the top and it shows this uh, sort of command to get it to run. You can use that yourself. So what you got to do is type in uh, percentage run dash c dollar sign editor underscore content and that will run that. The other option is to move on to the next bit. So the next bit we're going to do is to do a simple script with the LED which is on the Pi there. So let's do a new file actually. And we're going to do a simple import machine. So this is importing all the commands for the Pi itself, or the Pi Pico. Uh, you don't have to import the whole library machine if you don't need to. If you want to just import pin, which is the one we're going to use, it'll make it a bit more lightweight. Uh, this is important, the whole library though. And then we want to do import uTime. So uTime is like a lightweight version of time, which you'll see in Python quite often. Then we're going to make a variable called LED and it is machine dot pin and we set the pin number which is 25 and then you want to set uh, what's going to happen with that pin is it an output or is it an input uh, we're going to use it as an output so do machine dot pin dot out 
and that's capitals for out. Next, we can set the LED to turn on. So we can do LED dot value bracket one, and this will turn the LED on. Or you can do LED dot value zero, and that will turn it off. Although this will happen very quickly and you won't see it. Uh, so you can put U time in between dot sleep and we'll set it to one, which is one second between. So it'll go on, wait a second, and then it'll turn back off. So we can save this again to the PyPico. We'll save this as an LED.py. Press OK. So let's run it. There we go, nice and simple. It turned on and back off. So now we've got that, let's do a simple script which continuously runs pretty much forever. Um, or at least we could do a for loop if we want it to run any certain amount of times. And we'll just have the light blinking on and off. So let's do a, we'll do a for loop first actually. So for i in range, and then we'll just choose maybe 10, so it turns on and off 10 times. So this is going to go through and do i first equals 0, then i is 2, 3, 4, and it'll go on until i equals 10, and then it will exit. Or i equals 9, actually, and then it'll exit, since we start with uh, a base of 0. So the first thing we want to do is turn the LED on. Then we want to wait. And then we want to turn it off again. However, we want it to, instead of just going straight back on again, we need to have a time while it's off. So we'll leave it off for, let's say, two seconds. That should display it quite well. And we don't need these ones showing now. So let's just comment these out. And we'll run the script. So now it turns on for one second and then off for two seconds. And we'll do this 10 times. And um, so it might take a while to get through. Let's be 30 seconds. So we'll go on to the next bit while it's still working. You can see it blinking in the bottom of the screen. Uh, another option though, if you don't want to do fire you on and off, uh, since these are more better if you're selecting it based on different pri uh, parameters. Um, we could just do toggle. So if we change this, we can do LED dot toggle. So this will just, if it's on zero, it'll turn it to one. If it's on one, it'll turn it to zero. And we'll just keep doing this. And then we'll do a U time dot sleep. And we'll set it to one second. Well, actually we'll do 0.5. So half a second, you see it blinking quite faster. And we'll run this, and it should turn on a lot faster. There we go. However, this is all controlled still on the Pi, uh, my Pi, if I'm using my Pi 3. So we want to get it to run on the Pi Pico, where it's not plugged in uh, to anything else, except just the power source, and we want it to run. So how do we do that? Uh, so as I mentioned before, I said don't use run.py or main.py. Now run.py, you don't want to override that at all. But what you can do is save it to main.py. And this will run, as soon as there's power applied, it will run main.py. And the boot time is actually very fast. Um, you pretty much don't notice it. So there's not like a delay. So let's save this again. Um, as a main.py, so we'll create a new file. Same script again, we don't need that bit. And let's get it to, you know, let's, um, let's do a really fast blink and we'll set it to 20. So this will turn off on uh, 10 times since it's turning off 10 times, so that 20 split between the toggle. 
so uh, a quarter of a second between, which is quite good. Should be fast. And let's save this as main.py. And now we need to apply some power to it. So we'll take this off here. And what we'll do, we'll get my power bank. And we'll just plug in this. And there we go, the LED is blinking very fast. Very quick as well, only 10 on and offs. So if we just apply it again. So what about making it run pretty much forever or until there's no power? We can do that quite simple. We can use a while loop for this since uh, we're not going to be turning it on and off. So why won't this save up because we unplugged it without ejecting it. So we're going to have to close this and reopen it. Okay, we're back open, we're on the right one. You can open files from the PyPico, so since they're saved on it, you can open them. So if you've forgotten where you saved it or you haven't saved the copy, you can go and find it. So we saved it as main.py. And here we go. So there's our script. So let's change this from a for loop to a while loop. So while true. And this will run indefinitely since the true has never been changed a while, it's not being changed status, it's not becoming false. So it's just gonna continuously go and we'll save that. We can run it from here if you want to trigger it or we can just go and plug it in again. Um, what I'm gonna do is unplug it from here and we'll plug it into the power bank and have it run quite fast. And that should keep going. So now you know how to program with the Pi Pico. If you want to check out more videos on this, hit my button here. And if you want to check out getting started with the Pi Pico, there's a video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my Instagram for more videos coming soon and see sneak peeks into videos I'm working on. I'll see you guys soon.